Okay. Z71 Silverado. Take our lens off there. All right, so what we got is uh, communication problems. We got 122 ohms on pins, sorry, six and 14. Uh, we got no comms to several modules. Let's see here. Engine, transmission. So, I believe we start out with comms since it will, the cluster starts glitching like it does. I'm gonna go ahead and start it up now so I can show you guys exactly what's happening. Let it run for a second. So, oh, there we go. So you saw the, the gauges are dropping out. They're acting all weird and he said that eventually we lose power steering. So whatever it is, it's, it's rather straightforward because we had 120 ohms of resistance. So how are we gonna do this? Um, basically, we're either having an open circuit, which is probably at the transmission, I assume is what's going on because we have no comps to the transmission and the engine, right? Engine, in transmission, no comm. And then we have, on the diagram, engine and transmission, right? So in order to talk to the engine control module, you have to have good circuit through the TCM. And that's the 120 ohm resistors in the engine control module. And we only have 120 ohms on our resistance. So that tells us that we have one of the two. And since we have no comms with this one, I'm gonna go this direction. So there's a, there's a connector, X115. Um, we've got transfer case control module and there's a junction block. So, now obviously it does run, but it's glitching out. Uh, we need to fix the resistor issue. I'm not going to go straight, straight here, I don't think yet. What I need to do is find these joint connectors probably or this junction block instrument panel and see if I can't isolate the circuit and see which, where is the 120 ohms, right? That's what I need to do. Where's X115? Let's, let's search that. Connector views, uh, we'll just go X115, X115. And my stuff is running slow today. Let me tell you what. Matter of fact, or right, we'll leave, we'll stay here. Plug it back in. X115 engine harness to body. Oh, perfect. I think I know which connector this is. I think there's a common issue. So I do believe that this particular connector I don't know this for a fact as of right now, but I do believe it's this one right here that's laying down in the ground, all jacked up, right? It's always that connector. Okay, so right now we have 97 ohms. So it appears to be moving. So we got X115, six is dark blue, five is white. I'm gonna take the scope with us. Okay, now I'm gonna jiggle this around and it's not making a change at all. Okay, but what we are gonna do is unplug it. And what happens? Our resistance is climbing a whole bunch. It's not opening up. That's a little strange if you ask me. Okay, now we have 120 ohms. So we did not lose anything by unplugging this. I'm going to plug this back in, but what it seems like is this is not seating properly, but I could be wrong. So now we have 
Look at this. It's as if it's, oh, kilo ohms. There's our 105. Look at this. It's not. Why is it not latching down all the way? Okay, I've got it latched on there. And we have 96 ohms. So actually now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the transmission. All right. So as I jiggle the harness here, we get movement, a lot of it. So what are we doing, what are we doing? What are we doing here? I do believe that the problem is right here. Most likely is, it looks like there's been a repair done to this before. Oh yeah. Let's get this undone. See what we can find here. Stuff got boogered up. Yep. There they are. We're gonna have to peel this all back. I'll get back with you. I didn't get it, I didn't record it, but this is the problem. Wiggle, uh, it's, it's, it was broken there. Excessive vibration, it didn't, I guess. So I'm gonna go ahead and make this quick repair. And this vehicle should be good to go. I just was doing my, uh, I was just pulling the wires. I pulled each one of these individually, like so. Only this one pulled through. This is the blue wire, the twisted can bus. So I'm going to snip this. I'll, I don't know if I have any butt connectors. I'm at least going to twist them up and then we'll watch this thing be good. Okay, now that we have our repair made, uh, we still have the same thing going on here. So this, this wire is not broken. What the hell? There's our open. What in the hell? No, you still have another problem. That was definitely a problem, but you have another one. Still only 103 ohms.
I'm struggling to get the piece, uh, TCM connector off. Hey Benjamin, how's it going? Hey Chad, how you doing? Did I catch you the bathroom? Um, so we got the ECM unplugged, and we have the exact same thing, 120 ohms. So we are definitely not getting the 120 ohms from the ECM. So it must be the TCM connector itself. I can't get it unlatched. Uh, let me see if he's got a screwdriver or something that I can use. Little pry bars, little screwdrivers, a little flathead or a little pry bar would be good. Right here. Work. Broke. Yep. Broke. That's fine. I just need something to pry. All right, guys. So there's multiple bus problems. Um, this other one pulled out. the The wires going in, and then there's can bus wires coming out. So I missed I missed it originally, but. Let me uh, let me crimp these back up. Okay, so we've made our repair. Both these wires, I just temporarily twisted them together. The ECM is unplugged. Fucking filthy with this, this vehicle. So now let's go ahead and plug our ECM back in. Gray first. We've got some resistance. Now we'll do the black, and then finally the blue. What do we got here? Why is it doing that? Excuse me? Yeah. Um, we're not fixed yet, nope. 95 ohms. There must be more down there. I'm not sure what kind of horrible repair was done here, but I just went ahead and twisted these CAN bus wires because I cannot get the TCM connector out. I just can't. So I twisted the, the wires together, right? The in and outs. I put them together. Now, we have communication with the engine control module, which we did not have before, but we do now. We're not gonna have communication with the TCM because I was able to twist it a little bit, but I just cannot get it to pop out. We, that man's not working on Jamie's truck. So, we have no got all kinds park of indicator. Stuff over here. Oh, yeah. it's stuff running, sorry. Never mind. We have a running vehicle. Okay, but it's not gonna shift right. Um, nor will we see the gauges drop out like we oh, were. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see if we can see that because it's not going to do it. Okay. Okay. It looks like there's two problems. What would you say, the CFM underneath the hood? So I don't see it doing it anymore. So it's fixed. That TCM connector is definitely the primary issue. So they're gonna have to fix that, and then I think that's gonna get an engine computer as well. A what computer? The engine computer. Engine computer? Yep. Okay, so the key's off, and the ohms are 69.9. That's not perfect by any means, but it's much closer to 60. After they do the TCM repair, if 
they still have issues with the vehicle, then it's gonna need a new ECM because the ECM is the one causing this resistance issue. When you plug the ECM in, that's the resistance that we get. You unplug the ECM, it goes to 120 ohms. So the problem would be inside the ECM, but we're gonna have to go ahead and uh, make the TCM connector repair first and then take it from there. But uh, this is gonna be a win. This one came down to two key issues, a botched TCM repair and a failing ECM creating CAN bus resistance issues. We always recommend starting with the simplest fix. So the customer will replace the connector and test the results before moving to a new ECM. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Let me know if you've chased down a CAN bus ghost like this before. Catch you on the next one.